Hey everyone, this is me, Mohammed Kamran, and welcome to my channel, Game Animax. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to composite 3D render pass in After Effects. I have 3D render right now. Let's see. It's a camera animation, and I have modeled a camera which is called Rolleiflex. It's a vintage camera, very old, but I've modeled this flat shit and texture. After that, take out the renders and I'm gonna show you the render passes which is RGB, ALF and Diffuse and uh, Occlusion and ZDEP. ZDEP is the most important part uh, and it's the most important part take out for uh, taking out the ZDEP or autofocus in the render. So I'm going to compose it. Let's see. Import the RGB render which is the main render. Now I have imported this animation. But I just want to close up, just want to close up the camera, not the background. So I'm going to blur the background with the help of ZDEP pass. And for that purpose, I'm going to import my ZDEP pass, which is this. Now here you can see, here's my ZDEP pass. Import. Now, this, this is the white part, which is belongs to the close up for focus. And the black part is going to show the blurness. Let's see. I'm going to duplicate the layer of RGB render okay and convert it into the Luma inverted mat it's inverted right now so I'm going to apply a effect which is called camera lens blur camera lens blur helps to match with the Z depth and now you have seen it blurs the background not the focus part but the blur part or easily in the easy language I would say the Z depth black part is blur and the white part is focus. I'm going to show you this one. See this. So black part is blur. Um, and now I apply the levels. So it's going to highlight more, more AG and more effective. Now you can see it is AG and more effective, only focusing on the camera, not the background. Background is blur. I'm going to increase the levels radius sorry it's 15 so it's now more blur let's see the animation like this good in every frame or in every position you can see the background is blur but the camera is focused now it's good so i'm going to compose sorry pre-compose layer and pre-compose the shortcut is Control shift c you can see on the screen now it's pre-compose Let's see, make it more cinematic. I'm going to apply hue saturation effect and increase some saturations to make it more effective. Curve, apply curve, go to the red, decrease the red color from this side, a little bit green, but the blue from the out upside. Now you, yeah, little bit, little bit, okay. Increase the RGB and some more part for the creating cinematic effect now it looks like something now great i'm going to apply another curve to make it more bright because i have seen so many darkness in it so let's make it more bright now it's looking pretty cool So we have composite a 3D render into Adobe After Effects with the depth of field and some more cinematic. So definitely hope you like this tutorial and if you like this so kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.